So can we learn Java in 30 days? Many, many students were asking me, Pramod sir, what should be the plan for the learning Java, right? We are basically a manual tester who's trying to switch to an automation, right? What is the time duration that it will take to learn Java, right? How much coding practice I need to do? I have a fear of coding. How do I remove my coding fear and all, right? So recently, if you don't know, I have done a workshop, right? Where I have discussed if I have to basically start from scratch, right? In 30 days, what should be the plan for any person who's basically wanted to learn about a Java programming language. So how exactly it can be done with projects, which projects we have to follow and what should be a proper topics and roadmap we need to follow so that we become very much comfortable in Java, right? In this video, I'm going to explain you very short video how you can to learn Java in 30 days if you give one hour per day, which topics you have to follow, which projects you have to do and how you can basically do other coding questions and which coding question you have to do so that you feel more confident and you can remove your coding fear out of it. Okay. Before we start guys, very important point because I have asked in the webinar about what is your coding fear, right? How to remove coding fear. The most important point you need to remember. Okay. If you want to remove your coding fear related to any programming language. Okay. For example, let's say it is Java, right? The only option is to dive into it, learn about it. If you're not able to understand, then move ahead, right? This is the only way. So what I want to say is, learning Java within a span of one month is possible. But I am only talking about the important syntax, right? What about the coding? Because coding takes time. Coding can be only done if you do more and more practice. I still code guys. I still do a lot of programming questions to revise all the concepts, right? I am talking about 30 days plan to basically do uh, what we call syntax uh, in a Java. When you cover all of them throughout the 30 days, right? If you give one hour per day, then I am pretty much sure you will feel more confident and you can definitely remove your coding fear also. All right. So let's get started. Okay. So I have basically given you the roadmap. Here is a roadmap I'm going to discuss with you. By the way, this roadmap, you can take a screenshot. I will basically put a link also in the, the description. You can check it out. Okay. So I have divided Java into three parts. First of all, we have core Java, oops concept and the collection framework. Now, very important thing is see if you want to become an automation tester, right? I think these are enough topics that you should be knowing it apart from the design patterns, solid principle and couple of minor other projects related to file I. That is enough because what happens is Java is this big. Okay, Java contains multiple things like byte streams, EJVs, RMIs, spring format, right? Lot of things are available for basically to learn in Java, right? If you start learning Java from start, for example, zero to hero, it will take at least I am pretty much sure we have six months easily you can basically use to learn only about the Java, but that is not exactly what we have to do. As an automation tester, we need a limited set of knowledge related to Java, right? So that we can learn our EP automation and web automation. Guys, I have 12 years experience. So whatever that I'm discussing, right? This is a proven method. I am teaching from 2017 and more than 6,000 students, we have used this roadmap, right? And they are able to succeed to become an automation tester. So whatever that right now you are seeing the roadmap, it is a most validated roadmap you can say for a 30 days plan to learn Java. Okay. That is the most important thing. So first your target should be that out of 30 days, initial 10 days will be learning about the core Java, where we, it has variables, concept, data, cons data type concepts, classes, concepts, operator concepts, logical operator, math classes, taking input and control statements, which is def definitely your if loop, switch loop, for loop and other things. Okay. Next 10 days, your target will be related to oops concept, which is very important for Java because oops concept we will be using in your API automation as well as web automation. So all of these are important. So in the oops concept, you will be most focusing on the inheritance part, encapsulation part, abstraction part, and the interfaces, static keyword, abstract classes, all the, all of them I have mentioned properly in this case, right? If you see, this is, this is the part where I am discussing about next 10 day, your plan will be to basically go ahead with this 10 days. Okay. Now this one, the 10 days, this one is the 10 days. Now the last one, which will, I think you can cover in seven days also, if you give one hour per day, which is your collection framework. Guys, collection framework is the most important one that you need to basically basically do right in the seven days, approximately you can easily cover all of the related to it. This, okay. It is a most widely used many times. You will be using hash map, hash table, extra in your framework also. So make sure you pay more attention in this case. Now, two things which you don't see here, okay, which are important, which is the most other thing is basically multi-threading, right? So multi multi-threading is something multi-threading is that you need to add in this case file IO, you can also add and two things that you can add. And other thing is design pattern, right? design patterns and solid principle that you can basically add to this 
right? But okay, Pramod sir, this is important. I understand, right? Okay, you have given us a proper roadmap. What about properly topics? So here is a topic sheet, which I think is easy for you. I let me know if you want this. If we have hundred likes. and if we have 100 yes probably i will share this sheet with you right plus extra material how you can learn java properly by the way i have created a java notes also if you want to see so these notes also will be helpful for you to learn java respectively in the 30 days plan that you can follow along it's a good one resources that i would recommend you to if you need that give me a like after 100 we will basically do right if you use this sheet right in this sheet i have mentioned every topic right you can mention for example today i am starting out this is my 5th of december 2023 i have learned about this concept and you can just mark tick so it's a better way to learn about the programming language of java right in the end you can do project 1 project 2 which i have discussed in this plan also if you see we have three projects a simple calculator if you create grade calculator that you create and rock rock paper scissor it's a kind of a game that you create uh, in case of with by using collection and oops concept this is normal oops concept and this is a normal if loop and everything that you can do right apart from this now i know this is your 30 days but what about the next 15 days you can do right so 15 days if you add more i would request you to do 100 coding challenges top lead challenges of 20 right hacker rank easy challenges that you can easily find right all of this will be available into the coding interview sheet i will share this link also make sure you give it a like and just say yes in the comment all these contains all the important interview question plus lead code 15 easy challenges which are most important for your automation journey right the moment you add this into your resume right i am pretty much sure that this one if you follow this proper road map for 30 days plus 15 days of extra coding right now i am pretty much sure you will feel more confident because now you have basically done your exercises also you have done lab exercises also couple of interview question also cyber side you have done all of them if you have done prop follow properly i am 100% sure that you can too become an automation tester and you can too learn java easily okay so this is the road map that many many students have already followed i hope this will basically open up your mind right that okay yes you can too become an automation tester by following this plan let me know any feedback for this link will be in the description make sure you give a like and just say yes in the chat i'll see you in the next video thanks a lot for watching let me know if you need a plan for api testing with postman web automation also for for 30 days plan 40 day plan i will definitely give it to you which is proven one which will definitely help you to crack and become an automation tester in the end okay thanks a lot i'll see you bye bye